Mr Mayor, we're going to move to the presentments. Uh, Mr Chamberlain, have the jury any presentments to make to the court? <coughs> Mr Mayor, and they're going to read each of the presentments. So, the first present. We, the jury and panel, and sworn for the jurisdiction aforesaid, to present to the court for its approval. One, that if there is a natural brood of oysters in various parts of the river and creeks thereof, and a quantity of oysters which the jury may consider fit for sale, that the chief executive be authorised to declare the oyster grounds from Cockham Reach, Daywood, open from November 2015 to April 2016. And the second part of the presentment, while the grounds are open as mentioned in the preceding paragraph, all fishermen and dredgers free of the river shall be allowed to dredge and take the oysters found in the river, but must first obtain a license from the chamber. Uh, does the court approve and ratify the first presentment, Mr. Mayor? Make sure that's signed, please, by members of the I'll just pause a second while that presentment is being signed by the members of The second presentment. Uh, we, the jury and panel, and sworn for the jurisdiction aforesaid, we present to the court its approval. One, to reinstigate the closure of all trawling from Salt Hand Reach to Garrison Point Sheerness within the River Meadow. To continue to preserve the Dover Sole stock as part of the fisheries ongoing conservation measures. Mr. Mayor, does the court approve and ratify the second Mr. Mayor, does the court approve the third uh, presentment? 
Turning to the chamber, I have been told uh, that the jury have elected Andrew Peter Starling, or John Starling, and Victor George Dallas as water bailers for the ensuing year in addition to yourself. Is that correct, Mr. Chamber? Yeah, that is correct. Thank you. Does the court approve the appointments this in there? Uh, if you'd like to approach uh, the dais, please. Shane, Andrew, Paul and Victor can come forward. Do, do you, Shane Peter Hales, Andrew Peter Starling, Paul John Starling and Victor George Dallas swear that you will faithfully, impartially and honestly according to the best of your skill and knowledge execute the powers granted you as the water bailiff of this court? Of the mayor and citizens of the borough of Medway. So, to explain this process, the court warrants will be handed out uh, from this to mayor to the mayor. Citizens do give their grateful thanks 
for the generous hospitality of this day of our well-loved friends, the free fishers and dredgers of the Rochester Oyster and Floating Fisher, and most especially of the right worshipful, the Mayor and Admiral of the Medway, Councillor Barry Kelly, and the Burgesses at their Admiralty Court this day of Senate. And it was ordered that this presentment be inscribed in the scrolls, signed, sealed, and delivered to the said mayor by the foreman of the manor, Alderman Thank you very much. <coughs> Your Worship, I said that the last time that the, this such an illuminated address was presented by a foreman who had been Lord Mayor was Sir Peter Gadsden some 25 years ago. And uh, Sir Peter was the alderman uh, of the ward to which I was first elected as a public councilman more years ago than I get from that. <coughs> Thank you very much. Very much the foreman, uh, the honourable manner of Southwark. Uh, it's much appreciated, uh, Mr. Mayor. I'll continue with the service. So, turning to the Chamberlain, uh, have the jury any further business to bring before the court? Uh, no further business. Chamberlain, would you leave? Thank you. There's a bit to get to, so I hope I don't bore you too much. So, Mr. Mayor, members of the Admiralty Court, uh, may I first thank all of the councillors for attending the Admiralty Court today, which has sat unbroken for over 500 years. It's hard to believe that another year has slipped past, and I hope you enjoyed the ceremonies over this weekend, marking the ancient beating of the bounds over the exclusive area of the Tidal Network. I would like to thank our Chief Executive, Mr Neil Davis, for acting as Registrar this afternoon. His help and influence is always a blessing to the fishery. Uh, we extend a warm welcome to the three...